When you think about British Columbia, you don't normally think about camels, but they were here. British Columbia was booming in the 1860s because there was gold in them there hills. The gold rush was happening in the Caribou area of BC, and it was a difficult slog on the road to get to the gold fields using horses, mules, and oxen. Probably the strangest thing seen packing supplies up the Caribou Wagon Road were camels. That's right, somebody had the bright idea that camels would be able to carry far more weight than a mule. And that someone was Frank Laumeister, a prominent merchant who believed that the two humped Mongolian camels could travel 35 miles a day, carry 500 kilograms, and could go 6 to 10 days without water. Laumeister bought 23 camels for $6,000 and had them brought to Victoria from San Francisco. They were housed behind the Esquimalt Halfway House Saloon and Brewery. These unusual creatures brought sightseeing crowds to the saloon and for sure the brewery owner James Bland cashed in on the free advertising. Sadly, one of the camels died at sea during transport, and a female with calf was left to wander at will around Victoria, startling unwary residents. The rest of the camels were loaded on a barge and towed to the harbour of New Westminster. From there, they were taken to Lillooet via the Harrison Lillooet Trail to await the start of their gold rush experience. The camels traveled for many hours without resting along the Caribou Wagon Road, and it tore up their feet. Camel feet are accustomed to soft desert sand, and even booties didn't help their tender tootsies. The camels bit and kicked, and their pungent smell scared the horses and mules. Laumeister was threatened with court actions and physical violence. Within months of their introduction, a government order outlawed the camels from the Caribou Trail. The camel experiment came to be known as Laumeister's Folly. After the camel pack train was disbanded, the camels suffered a variety of fates. One was shot by miner John Morris, who thought it was a grizzly bear near Quinell Forks. Eight died in a blizzard and were buried near Lac La Hache. One was used as a plow animal in a ranch by Crash Creek. Several of the camels were used for meat. In Grand Prairie, now known as Westwold, Henry Ingram owned three. As farm animals, they were pretty useless, and eventually he traded two of them for horses. But the last one named The Lady was ridden by the children. In 1905, the camel leaned against a tree and died. It's rumored that some of the camels did escape into the wilderness and that there were sightings as late as 1910. Today, over the Fraser River in Lillooet, BC, is a historical site on Highway 99. The Bridge of 23 Camels stands in memory of this particular event from our province's past. If you enjoyed this video, there are a few things you can do to help support our channel. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and leave a comment. Let us know if there's anything you'd like us to cover in a future video. For more content about Canada, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon to be notified of our next video upload.